Hi, Raising Children at Tribe is the theme of the month in October. In the Tessional Parent Academy in a Circle Program, one of the most important thing to us is raising independent thinking children. And in this month, we are going to actually be dissecting what it means to have children who think independently, what it means to have children who can discern things they see and hear. These are children who are taught to question assumptions. And when you look at the process, when you look at the whole thing of raising a child, the whole essence is raising a child who can thrive. So in this month, we're looking at that. And in week one, we're going to be teaching your children financial management skills. I've come to realize that financial management is one area of independent thinking that we downplay because even the people who raised us were not very financial intelligent savvy. And so that will be the first thing we're doing in the first week. And in the second week, we're going to be teaching raising children with executive functioning skills. Who are they? What do we need to do? How do we teach the skills in tangible ways? Because I believe that this is the core of every child who becomes an independent thinker. And in week three, we're going to be looking at how not to raise a foolish virgin. <laughs> a topic I love so much. And we're going to be dissecting. What does it mean to even raise a foolish virgin? We're going to be using that story in the Bible that talks about the ten, the, the parable of the ten virgins, the five foolish ones and the five wise ones. What made them different? What is that thing that you're going to do for your child that will separate them? We're going to be learning that and that will be one of the blockbuster weekly webinar. And then in week four, we are going to be looking at how prepared is your child for life. Many times we actually raise children who are not prepared to be launched. In the academy, we believe that the parenting launch plan is a plan you create from 0 to 18. But so many of the times you realize that this launch, children are not launched properly or they are not even fit to be launched or they have you know, gaps. And then when we launch them, we're not having issues with the children that we have already launched. And then, in that week, we're also going to be doing, looking at the webinar to dissect who is that child that is ready to be launched. And at that, you know, whole, uh, you know, this whole month, we're reading books that are amazing completely. In level one, we're reading Raising the Independent Thinking Child. This is one book that has blessed the lives of many. You want to actually get ready for the things you will learn in this book. In level two, we're reading five conversations you must have with your son. That book is one book in the inner circle that has blessed us. It is a book that teaches you what you need to do at the place where you are launching that child and how you need to do it. So we're going to be dissecting that book and reviewing it at level two. And we're also going to be reading in level three A, we're going to be reading the Outlayer. Outlayer is one of the, um, you know, best books you can actually pick up on this journey. All right. And it's by Malcolm Godwell. And you want to actually get ready for the reviews and the things that will come out of this particular book. And then at the final level, the senior, senior yaders were reading originals. Originals is by Adam Grant. And this is one book that I read that turned the way I think about independent thinking. You do not want to miss the book reviews in this month. And this month has so much that is going to show to us and on our journey. The tools of the month have been created in such a way that it gives you um, examples. It gives life to all of the things that we are actually going to be showing you. You do not want to miss picking out the tools and running. And if you haven't been running, you think, oh, it's late for me to pick up. I, I don't really know if I should or shouldn't and all of that thing, you know, that we think when we want to drop the ball. Pick up the ball now. Two months is a long time. You still have October and November. Do not waste one minute, one day, all right, on your journey. The, the, the problem with wasting time is that 
time is the currency of destiny and every minute every second counts children are changing every day they are growing every day the problem with not understanding the times not understanding what's happening with time is that it will pass away and you can never recover it please do not wait and say oh the year is just almost ended i'm just going to repeat this level and just start from the beginning continue on your journey while you are pledging to repeat or continue whichever way please don't drop the ball i realized that in the academy by the month of october we we'll have quite a number of people who are like hey let me just start again in december i'll give it my all if you cannot stay consistent even in the times that you realize that you have been inconsistent you will not be able to ever become consistent because consistency consistency is a skill you build consistency on your journey you don't just pick up consistency it becomes a habit until when you're doing it and doing it it becomes part of you i am particularly looking forward to all of the things that the month of october holds for every year that and i'm ready to sail that ship with you will you be in that ship of the yard or are you going to jump outside the boat please stay in the boat let me sell the ship with you my name is wendy Ologi, and i'm the founder of the intentional parent academy welcome to the month of october themed raising children that thrive our children will thrive and the world will see that there's something extraordinary about the child that you're raising we pledge that we commit to that we will do the work thank you and see you in the end